welcome to Ellis's A Giant Sweaty Mess. And welcome to my messy ass house. <laughs> okay, so I went to the bakery three minutes down the street. And I bought $15 worth of pastries. I'm not going to eat them all right now, don't judge me. I'm so sweaty. Um, but I just wanted to try everything so I know what I like in the future. There's like three really good bakeries like three minutes from my house. So... We're going to try all of them in succession. But the first one we're trying is a pesto, like, pizza kind of thing. It has cheese, tomatoes. Can you see? It smells so good. It's warm. I came when they just baked these, so. Oh, fuck me. But I don't know if the other bakeries can top this. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. It's cheesy. It's salty. There's pesto and ham, and it's a little salty. Mmm. I'm taking off my jacket now, too, because I don't need to be appropriate no more. I bet you love this food review. Okay, that one. Then I got another really similar one, but it's on a croissant nest. It's on a croissant nest. And there's boiled egg, sausage, and some kind of filling but I don't know what it is so mm. what does that taste like um like a potato salad filling but better obviously because it's Japan and like meat like gravy the white layer there's like gravy like meat gravy Ooh, that's good that can be lunch or something all right still sweating very atsui in japan good lord all right then i got this one i was i was about to be done this is right by the register look at that making sure I'm getting it in the camera but it's baked potato nice and thick and deliciously creamy and chewy looking and bacon and this like green chive bun so all right Maybe I don't want to move back to America. Man, that potato is good. Um, it's the texture of potato that I really like when it's like, like mochi-ish, where it's like really chewy. Mmm. Uh, it tastes super. I hate to say this, but it tastes super potatoey, like a really fresh potato. And the bacon just makes it salty, so it doesn't really taste like bacon, it just gives it, like, flavor. And the bread is so soft and, like, chewy. Look at that. So soft. And that's spinach in there. It's spinach bread. Oh, my God. It's so fluffy. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Very good. Very good. One more bite for the road. <laughs> Alright. Man, that is so good. We're going to take a quick break from eating. 
to show you. They have a point card. I got two stamps today. Yeah. And I don't know what it means when I finish the stamps, but I'm going to go here a lot because I have a point card now. And it's actually pretty cheap. Like Each pastry is under $2. That's why I got so many. All right. Need some hydration. Running out of my $1.50 tea. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Moving on. We're going to keep going to... This. I only got two sweet things and the rest are savory, so... Alright, they had three different types of croquettes. Three. And I picked the one that I thought was curry, but we're gonna find out. Hmm? Huh? Look at how black that is. That's why I was confused. It's for sure curry. And it's hella good. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, there's a tomato in there. Okay. So for this, I'm sure you can see it, but it's, like, very soft and squishy. So the outside, while it is fried, is just super soft and pillowy. Whereas the croquettes we've had are, like, very crunchy. But this is just super delicate feeling, like, very, very soft. Very soft and doughy. And the filling is really, really yummy. Alright. I got garlic French bread. Garlic French bread. It looks like a pussy. <laughs> Let's crack this baby open. Ooh. They were not shy on the garlic. I don't know if you can see, but not shy on the garlic. Okay. Mmm, 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 salty, crusty, buttery, garlicky, fluffy on the inside, mmm, you can hear it, it's so, it's so crusty on the outside. And crunchy and then the inside is so fluffy and soft mm-hmm maybe I should make pasta tonight to eat with that all right we got so I like cucumber tea sandwiches I don't know if you've ever had one um, they have it at like tea parties and I think they're very delicious and this has cucumber and ham in it so I'm hoping it tastes like a cucumber tea sandwich I'm not sure we'll find out you know me none of this is gonna go to waste this is all going into my fridge and this is all gonna go into here within the next two two to three days okay cucumber sandwich mm. oh, I'm It's not bad, but it's the most okay. I could have lived without buying this. It's literally soft milk toast bread, which you can't go wrong. Plain ham, me, and cucumbers, which are nice and crunchy and cucumbery, but it's not a cucumber finger sandwich. I'm really me. I mean, I'll finish it. It's like tiny. Best part, best part is the milk toast, though. Mmm. We should buy a loaf of this milk toast when you get here. Mmm. All right. This bread is, I think, sweet. It looks like it has the dust of that mochi that I like, the really wiggly one with the peanut powder on it. It smells like that. Oops. <laughs> so, 
fuck, fuck. I'm not going back to America. <laughs> fuck. Mmm. Mmm. It's sweet and peanutty and umami and the bread is soft and fluffy and the dust is sweet and nutty mm. Mm. all right i see you i see you all right and this they had many versions of this and when you come here or maybe by the time you come here, actually. I'm going to try all of them. But this is a croissant. It's a nice baked croissant. And it's stuffed with custard. Do you see that custard? you see that? It has vanilla bean flecks in it. I don't know if you can see that. Ready? I hope... You heard that crispy, flaky crunch. Listen, I don't even like croissants. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I'm peeling a layer of flake. I'm peeling. I'm peeling the flake. Do you see this? And let's try the custard on its own. It is super creamy, super eggy, vanilla, but not that sweet. On classic Japanese fashion, it is not like a sweet custard. It's just custard. Just a little hint of sweet. Only a hint, a whisper, a whisper of sweet. Okay, that'll be dessert later. But yeah, wow. I can't believe this bakery is just down the street. Less than three minutes of a bike ride. So good. I'm gonna go there like every day. Well, I do have to try the other bakeries first, so. There's one one mile away, so I'll probably go there tomorrow. But really, though, I can't imagine it being better than this one. Can't wait for you to try. Bonus video. I'm eating this, finishing this pesto one. That meat you see right there is not ham or anything. It is oven roasted chicken thigh so it is juicy it has this beautiful like charbroiled taste like super smoky mmm the chicken is so soft and juicy they can bake and they can cook chicken mmm Mmm.